Hey guys, it's BNO, and welcome back to Pokemon Blue. In the last part, we caught a Caterpie, and in this part, I'm gonna be grinding a bit, so... yeah. Uh, so we could switch our party order. The one at the top, by the way, the Pokemon at the top, is going to be the first one that got, comes out in a battle. If he's fainted, then it will be the next one, so keep that in mind. Uh, anyway, so yeah, so we're just gonna train on Pidgeys, because this is obviously the safest option. By the way, here's a little uh, nice thing you can do in a battle. This 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 is what happens in a let's play. When you want a battle, it never comes. Uh, so the problem with a, with a Pidgey is that a Pidgey's gonna kill Bugaboom really easily. Bugaboom does have String Shot, but that's not really gonna help at all. However, here's something nice you can do. If your Pokemon has ever entered battle against a certain Pokemon, then provided he stays alive. Uh, you will be... <sighs> gosh. Uh, Pidgey did use Sand Attack, which reduces your accuracy, which is... means you'll miss a lot more, which gets annoying. Uh... So yeah, so if your Pokemon... So for example... Uh, Bugaboom... Uh, showed up... against this Pidgey... Holy crap, this Pidgey! Dang, this Pidgey's... This Pidgey is mean. Goodness, just stop using Sand Attack. There you go. Um, as you can see, Bugaboom gets experience. Uh, doesn't really get much though. It halves the experience between all the Pokemon in your part. Uh, between all the Pokemon that comes out. So you still get the same amount of experience. It just gets spread out a bit more. Uh, and the problem is that Bugaboom isn't gonna get, isn't gonna level up in a fair bit. Um, so yeah, that's a nice little thing to know. Because uh, there's some Pokemon like Magikarp later that it's just like it's impossible to try and train him normally. Dang, it's Pidgey. Oh, he's level three. I'll try. I'll try finding him. Yeah, Gus totally is normal type, because otherwise it would be killing Bugaboom right now. By the way, this is how weak Bugaboom is. I don't recommend him. Until he levels up, until he evolves. How can you not hit this Pidgey? Level three. Jeez. I've, I've even got to go to the Pokemon Center. Jeez. Also, here's a nice little comparison. Bubba has 18, 18, 17, 21 in the stats. Bugaboom has 9, 8, 9, 8. I know he's only half a level, but still pretty low. Yeah. Okay, now, his stats have gone up, but he's evolving. Now, when a Pokemon is evolving, you can tap the B button right now, so, which stops the evolution. Now, there may be some times when you'll want to do this. For example, some Pokemon will learn moves earlier if they don't evolve, and some Pokemon will even, uh, will even learn moves that their evolutions will not. Uh, however, an evolution basically means your stats get a massive jump. Uh, so for example, we're going to now look at Bugaboom and we're going to see his stats. As you can see, his defense went up quite a bit. Uh, nothing really else changed. But, uh, he's also three levels off his next evolution. However, I think that's going to be plenty because the next battle we're going to deal with involves a level 9 Pokemon and a level 8 Pokemon. Uh, so basically, we're gonna go to Route 22. I know, I know, you're gonna be like, "Whoa, how'd you get all the way to 22?" It's like Route One below us, Route Two up here. Uh, but actually, Route 22 is over here. And if you go over here before you f defeat the first gym, I believe maybe, uh, then you will find at the end uh, there to be there's uh, the blue. 
Forget it, you probably don't have any badges. God won't let you through. By the way, did your Pokemon get any stronger? And then he fights you, basically, because he's a jerk. Uh, so yeah, you can completely skip this battle. However, I'm going to show it because completionist's sake. So yeah, uh, he has a level 9 Pidgey, which I'm a little bit worried about. Um, we're going to try using Tackle. He's going to use Sand Attack, so I'm basically stuffed. Look at that. Ah, stuff that. Stuff that. <laughs> We're gonna send out Bubba. Uh, it doesn't matter, by the way, how much each Pokemon contributes. If you send out two Pokemon, we'll split the experience in half, no matter, like, which one contributes more. Leech C. So anyway, so, Blue here has, uh, a, a Pidgey that's level 9. It has, it knows Gust and Sand Attack, so don't worry, it's, it, it's got the same moves. Um, we got a bit of Leech Seed going on. Leech Seed isn't really the best move, but it's it's nice to have at the beginning. Because it basically makes Bubba a bit more of a tank. Uh, by the way, don't worry uh, if your Pokemon is getting worn out, because it's okay to use a potion in this battle. Like, trust me, there's not really any point not to use a potion. This is why I just, um... Oh, goodness. Can, can you just hit him with a tackle? So for example, like now I'm on 15 out. Okay, come on. There you go. You used to tackle when I really didn't need it. Uh, now they both gained 51 experience, because yeah. Uh, now he's going to send out his starter Pokemon. I'm actually going to take it, send out Bugaboom, because... Uh, by the way, uh, if you've got in your options the battle mode set to shift, the game will ask you to um, to switch Pokemon uh, when your opponent's one gets knocked out. Uh, this is highly recommended because it will save your turn. If you put it on set mode, which is the other one, you won't get told when your opponent is switching Pokemon. Uh, so you won't get you won't get um, the opportunity to switch Pokemon as your opponent switches, um, which is a little bit annoying. He keeps using Growl. I, c I can't do anything at all. Uh, now, his starter Pokemon will be level 8 right now. The Charmander, fortunately, doesn't know a Fire-type attack. He still only knows Scratch and uh, Growl. However, if you chose Charmander, he will have a Squirtle that knows Tackle, Tail Whip, and Bubble. Bubble is a Water-type attack, so watch out for that. And if you chose Squirtle, then he'll have a Bulbasaur with Tackle, Growl, and Leech Seed. And Leech Seed won't super effect damage, but it is a little bit annoying. Um, so yeah, that, that's why Charmander, again, is one of the more tougher ones, because this battle is a lot more difficult if you've got Charmander. Because the Squirtle, like, knows him. Oh my goodness! I don't even know Harden. I would really like to know Harden. I, I can't even. Do it, Bubba. You got it, Bubba. Uh, leech seed. He's just gonna keep using growl, isn't he? Uh, so let's try and tackle him. Yeah, it's okay. That's okay. We got this. Um, I didn't expect, uh, Bugaboom to really hold up here, because he's, you know, he's a Metapod. He's really weak. His evolution is pretty good, but the problem is trying to train him up for that, and then the evolution just kind of falls a bit flat later in the game. So anyway, we defeated him. Here's something nice. If you uh, only own your starter, and you haven't bought any Pokeballs, if you go back to Professor Roak, or I think some guy in, um, I think if you talk to some guy in the lab, after defeating uh, blue like this, uh, then you can get five free Pokeballs, which is nice. Uh, by the way, in this route, there's two Pokemon that you can get. Uh, first of all, you can you can get a lot of Rattata. Actually, there's three Pokemon you can get. Uh, you can get Rattata. Uh, same stuff. You can get Nidoran Male. Nidoran Male evolves fully kind of quickly, but the problem is there's not that many Poison-type moves. He's a Poison-type Pokemon. Uh, and that's, that's kind of interesting, but... 
There's not really that many poison type moves, so... And his moveset's not really that great. Uh, you've got Nidoran female. By the way, you can find Nidoran male more in blue than... Sorry, more in red. Uh, and you can find Nidoran female more in blue. However, there's... Uh, you can still get them. Uh, Nidoran female is a little bit more defensive, but other than that, it's pretty much like the same thing. Um... Alright, come on, you got this. Uh, the other one you can get is a Spearow, with a 10% chance in this area, but Spearow is really fast, his attack gets really high, he's got some pretty good moves. Only problem is that his defense is a bit low, but I actually would recommend Sparrow instead of Pidgey. The problem with Pidgey is that it takes a while to fully evolve, and he doesn't really learn as many good moves. Sparrow definitely stands out, uh, and I'd recommend Sparrow over anything else. Um, any other flying type Pokemon, really. Not even Charizard. Everyone says Charizard's good, but Charizard's actually pretty weak in the, when you think about it. Uh, so anyway, yeah, so... We are fighting Fit, and now we're gonna head to Viridian Forest. Um... I know this part's gonna be going on for a little bit, but I just wanna try and get through the Viridian Forest. Uh... I'm also gonna keep Bugaboom up front, because I want to try and get him to level 10 before we get to the boss. The boss, the gym. Uh, if you could do that, then good on you, because the evolution is pretty good. I didn't even need to walk through the grass, but I did. Oh, it's level 5 as well. It's like... So enticing. Nah. I can't escape. Wow, you are that slow, Bugaboom. You are that slow. That's the way we are. Um, by the way, there's only one more trainer in the Viridian Woods. There's only three trainers, so don't worry. I'm not going to list the movesets of the trainers, by the way. I'm only going to list the movesets of the really important people, because Bulbapedia! Thank you, Bulbapedia, for having all these resources, by the way, to make to make this uh, little guy that I'm making. Um... There's an antidote. Uh, yeah. Um, thank you, Bulbapedia, for having all this stuff, but you don't know the movesets of the regular enemies. And I guess that's okay, because they're not really... You can skip a lot of them. Uh, other than that, Viridian Forest, man. Right about... Oh, not even. Anyway, so here's another potion. Uh, and I believe there's one more hidden item. Uh, what does this sign say? Trainer tips, no stealing. Yeah, by the way, if you try throwing a Pokeball at an enemy, at someone's actual Pokemon, it'll be like, no, it belongs to someone, you can't do this. I'm surprised Bugaboom doesn't even know Harden. Do they learn Harden? I don't, I don't even know. Um... Oh my goodness. This guy right here doesn't even want to give up. Oh, apparently apparently he doesn't learn harden. Your your evolu your evolution will not learn harden and this is going to take forever. Yeah, this guy will fight you. There's no way to get around him. Yeah, apparently... Yeah, you won't get hardened if you evolve your Pokemon. Uh, you will in Yellow. Yellow is the special version of this game, by the way. Uh, it came out a couple of years later, uh, and a few things were reworked. They reworked a lot of the... a lot of the movesets, uh, which is good, because Pokemon like Charizard would not learn how to fly. By the way, Poison-type, super effective against Bug. It, it will get a bit annoying, so I'm going to switch out to Bubba. Uh, hopefully we can get this guy out of the way. He's level 9, jeez. Um, but yeah. 
Uh, so something, say, for example, in yellow, by the way, um, uh, Metapod will learn, will not only know Harden when you always catch it, but it will also learn it if you evolve it. Whereas in this game, apparently it doesn't happen. Also, he's level 8, which is nice. His defense keeps going up. And Bubba's level 12. I want to get Bubba up to level 13. What's with the beep? I think I broke the game. I broke the game, maybe. There's a potion right here as well. That's basically all the items you can get here. Uh, other than that, just head a bit north if you can. Caterpie! <laughs> I will fight the Caterpie. So Bugaboom's got to get one, two more levels, and Bubba has to get one level. Do 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 do. And, oh, come on. Come on. Come on. You, you're not going to get killed by level 5 Cavity. Come on. So, yeah. There you go. And, here we are. The exit. Or, or as this sign says, leaving Pretty Forest Beauty City ahead. Anyway, what did you have to say? If you don't know, those are the bushes on the roadside that can be cut down by a special Pokemon move. Yeah, I uh, know. Many Pokemon live only in forests and caves. You need to look everywhere to get different kinds. Many Pokemon live in forests and caves. You need to look everywhere to get different kinds. <laughs> I gotta stop talking to people twice. Anyway, this is also Route 2, by the way. So you'll find all the same stuff that you found in Route 2 here. Uh, other than that, though, welcome to Pewter City. Any Pokemon that takes part in battle, however in short, earns experience. So anyway, with this, I'm going to see you kids next time, where we'll explore Pewter City a bit, and we'll probably fight the gym later, because why not? See you kids then. Bye.